round three match, right? Yeah. This is winner's round three. These two having both making some upsets, meaning that uh, one of these guys is going to be sitting in winner's round four. That's, uh, is that top eight? Right now they're in quarters. Uh, winner of this will be in top eight. One of these two players, I, I don't think that either of them have ever gotten that far to Xena. So I'm actually not sure. I, I I think Booty has a long time ago, and I'm I, I think it was don't a know of If I remember has. correctly, it was like he did get top. He might have gotten top five before, but I think it was a smaller event. I don't know. I don't want to speak with any expertise to it. But Stock Taker definitely has it. But at this point, uh, these two like you would very commonly like these guys would fight. You know, in winners round two or something. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, they both had to upset some really solid players in order to get here, and they want to bring that momentum. They want to just keep it going. Okay, Booty actually tech rolling in there, and he gets hit by the Lloyd Rocket. He's looking at 85% on his body already, and uh, Villager is, it's so weird. He has so much kill power, but sometimes he just can't kill. <laughs> Despite the fact that he has all of these moves that can just absolutely annihilate stocks. Speaking of annihilating stocks, yeah, so a lot of what this, uh, this matchup is going to be is if these guys are able to get their actual kill setups to confirms. Um, as we see right there, I will. I also think that Villager is very susceptible to the ladder. He's uh, that kind of size where he actually gets hit by the up airs a lot. Ooh, we'll see a nice chain here. He might even go for the... Oh, he does not try and go for the uh, suicide, although technically the platform would have been there to save him if he decided to go for the up B. And now, oof, he has Stock Taker in the corner. Jabs at the ledge. Not enough, though. Goes for that, uh, the bowling ball. Oh, Balloon Chan coming in clutch right there. We are seeing so many stage assists today. It's like, oh, but there we see it. That, that was more than enough. That was overkill to the nth degree. As we see, um, now the stock counts are even, but those percentages are looking mighty scary for Stock Taker. One... Like, Booty, of course, as a Meta Knight player, he's so good at getting the dash attack. Uh, and every dash attack at this point is basically at least a 50-50. Where, do you air dodge or do you just eat an up B? There's the up B. Oh, doesn't actually close out the stock, though. Because he uh, managed to get down too low. Uh, oh, okay. This is actually looking kind of scary for Booty. Yeah, that's it, there is an auto cancel timing for that down B, and when you're fighting against a Meta Knight, particularly Booty, just assume that if he's down being, it's because he's going to get the lagless version. Uh, and just prepare for his defensive option, whatever that may be. I love those. Oh, the multi jabs. Oh, and he gets behind him. A beautiful way to get back to stage. The up smash, managing to actually close out the stock there. Uh, Booty going up 1-0, and these guys, I have to remind you, are playing for fifth. As in, like, the the winner of this is guaranteed fifth. The, the like, Stock Taker, I don't know if he's ever gotten even top eight out of Xeno before. Uh, at the very least, he's not the sort of name that you see, you know, topping the charts all the time. He has his breakout performances, and this is one of them. Let's see if he can see it to completion. But right now, standing in his way is... Oh. Standing in his way is a cloud. Booty actually does have quite a few characters under his belt, and... Although his cloud isn't necessarily, I personally think that his Meta Knight is scarier than his cloud. When you go to Battlefield, I can understand that counterpick completely. Uh, the higher Blast Zone means that Meta Knight is going to be... Uh, his uppies aren't going to be killing as reliably. Not only that, but uh, his uh, the platforms will help Villager land. He can't you know, dash attack on his landing quite as much. As opposed to Cloud, where Cloud basically gets all of the benefits of Battlefield. But he has to play to it. Um, Stock Taker, even though this matchup is terrible, it is actually, a lot of villagers heralded it as the death of Meta Villager because there was just, he wasn't able to compete when there were so many clouds running around. Um, that being said, uh, Stock Taker has played against this character so much. He is so familiar with the matchup. Uh, Whereas I don't know how often Booty has played Cloud Villager in particular. Wow, he's so he's so slow. <laughs> he's so slow. He, he he had all of the time in the world to get him, and uh, Villager just not putting his cardio in. All right, that trade going to work out for Stock Taker at 118 percent. There are a lot of options that. Uh, okay. <laughs> 
I just was not expecting that particular interaction to work that way. Ooh. I don't know who's happy about that exchange, but at the very least, Stock Taker is continuing to live again. <laughs> These Lloyds looking like Luma saving his butt on twice already. Charging up limit, and he catches him on the roll behind. Now we have Stock Taker up a stock. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, he rolled into it because he knew that booty was going to completely not get the punish. It's that sort of next level of really being inside of your opponent's head. But as it stands, oh, I like his pressure, but he got a little bit too creative. And winding up behind Cloud means that that down smash will close out his stock. Regardless, he's definitely in the advantageous position here. Putting himself on the ledge. Nice down throw. Oh, wow, that Cloud up there actually beating out the uh, Villager down there. That is, those turnips are normally very hard to contest. But here we see it. Uh, that's one of the really part, parts about Villager for the matchup is that he can actually get juggled. Oh, but one of the nice things about Villager for the matchup is that he can just kill. Did you know it's Arbor Day? When is Arbor Day, actually? It's like coming up, right? Aren't we supposed to love trees? Anyway, uh, or as uh, when I was in Israel, they called it a uh, vat. It's uh, Friday. It's Friday. See, I knew it was coming up. Hey, maybe uh, we'll have Villager in top eight in celebration of Arbor Day. Somebody get that hashtag trending. I don't know what it'd be, and I don't really know how hashtags work. But let's see how far Stock Taker can take it. Ooh, again, those... Uh, those Lloyd Rockets coming in handy. Stock Taker is putting himself on the ledge pretty frequently, uh, which is understandable. You know, it's a large part of his uh, Villager's game plan in general. Okay, that's some nice damage, but not the stock. Villager does not actually have the floatiness to uh, really fall victim to those sorts of combos. We're trying to get this ledge pressure, setting up this wall of projectiles, but nowhere to run. Oh, an amazing getup attack, abusing the invincibility on that. Villager, uh, Stock Taker is being so smart with his disadvantage, but at the same time, all Booty needs is that one opening. It doesn't matter if you're outplaying him, you know, 90 times out of 10, because if he hits you twice, sometimes you just die. Oh, he's way down there. Oh, and he actually manages to make it back, but covering the get-up roll. Oh, uh, sorry, the ledge roll there. Wow, that jab comboing to the up air. Smart, knowing that uh, he wasn't able to punish him on that platform, instead just goes to uh, hunker down. Oh, but the down be finding its mark. I don't think Stock Taker was quite prepared for that. What? What was that? That was layers upon layers going on there. <laughs> uh, all right. So, um, if you know what happened, please uh, tweet at me. Hashtag Arbor Day. That definitely breathes uh, not even a little bit of momentum, a lot of momentum for Stock Taker right now. Despite the fact that he was down by that huge amount, he's now looking at a 40-plus lead. Ooh, but that Meta Knight Tornado does so much damage. And once again, respective kill percents are... Although Villager can close out stocks absurdly early, the consistent early kill power is definitely in Booty's favor. Um... Oh, just throwing out all of these hitboxes, getting more and more damage. Booty stuck here. He's, he does not want to take more than this. Timeout isn't really something that he should be worried about, but... Look at this, he's just setting up his wall. Every time that Booty tries to get in, a projectile gets in his face. Ooh, and a neutral air stuffing him out. A backer to put him off stage once again. I think he's even running out of jumps. This is a ton of damage, but... Wow, and there it is, Stock Taker moving on to winner's semis, guaranteeing himself fifth place. Booty being dropped into the loser's bracket after a fantastic set. He had the lead there, but after that, that first stock, can we get, can we get a nice look at that first stock? Uh, first stock for, um, sorry, Booty's first stock. First stock that Booty lost. You know, the, you know, the great, great, great one. It really happened that quickly? 
Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> I still don't even know what that was. <laughs>